Just my play-in music right there, y'all. Well, I am back again. Lockout Men, that is me. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Lockout Men podcast show. And I am just chilling. That's what I'm doing. And as always, I am back with all these good interviews, these good people to talk to and all like that. They come on and uh, share their uh, experience with us. And all like that in today's episode, today's podcast episode. Uh, in today's episode, I have a young man that reached out to me about a year ago, and uh, he was another one that was uh, that was curious about uh, J and R Shrugal, and uh, I believe he was. Uh, I believe he got approved to. To get in there. So we're going to find out whether or not he's still there with him or or what happened to him. You know what I'm saying? So let me bring to the show. Let me welcome our special guest today, Mr. Gary Kelly to the show. Wait a minute. I had to hit that again. Mr. Gary Kelly to the show. All right, all right, bro. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome, man. What's going on? Not much, really. All right, all right. So uh, this this is uh, like last year sometime that you uh, reached out to me, but uh, in 2019, I was well beyond uh, J&R Shrugal, and I was in, in with another company at that time, but uh yeah you just you were you just left i think yeah 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 and uh you you reached out to me and you was like can, you, can i tell you a little bit about the company and all like that i i think i did uh your recruiter at the time was connie now i'm not i wasn't familiar with with connie i believe she was one of the recruiters that came in from Super service when they when J and R uh acquired them because my my recruiter the lady that I worked with was uh was uh Kathy and uh well no Katie 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 her name was Katie and um and yeah so so without further ado man uh what's what's up are are you still with him or or you went with him what happened no um i went through the whole email 100 emails Mm -hmm. back and forth a ton of phone calls okay Um, sounding good so far did all the stuff they said okay and they were going through and saying oh yeah yeah we'll get you in you know, uh, flown up here and hotel and orientation, all this good stuff and everything. Okay, okay. Yeah. And then one minute she says, oh, yeah, you're approved. And then she comes back and says, nope, you, we can't take you. We don't want to touch you. Wow. Wow. After wasting all my time. Wow. And I'm like, a bunch of emails and phone calls trying to find out what the hell the, the problem was mm-hmm. and no response you know this is beginning to be a trend with uh j and r Swogel because i just talked to uh i just talked to a gentleman uh day before yesterday what was that yesterday yeah be on the lookout for that interview as well um i talked to him and it's just about the same thing. He got up there. He went through the emails back and forth, back and forth, got into the orientation. And then uh, the next day uh, he was Friday, you know, they, they called him up on the phone and said that uh, we, 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 we can't use you for whatever reason. So uh, you you actually was up there as well when you find out that you got the axe. So did they how how did they come to you as 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 to tell you that they wasn't gonna that they wasn't gonna use you or keep you? 
Well, I actually didn't get to fly up there or anything because right before the day to go is when they sent me an email saying, uh, you're denied. You couldn't give me a phone call. Mm -hmm. And when I called Connie, she sat there and said, well, we just can't use you. We can't take you. And she wouldn't give explanation or nothing. Why? And I told her, okay, you had me approved. And then all of a sudden, a few days later, you call, you don't even, you send me an email saying you're denied. Right. So but it didn't and, make and, sense. And she couldn't, she couldn't come and give you no plausible explana- explanation to why you was denied. Yeah. Was there any? And I don't know if they put something on my, uh, deal or something now because I'm having issues getting uh, back into, you know, finding a different job. What's Is there anything in your background that you may know that that you know, that that you can figure out why? I mean, she just didn't... No, because uh, um, I've got you know, doctors are released to go back to work completely good. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. No wrecks, no tickets, nothing. Driver, my CDL is current. All if it's a DOT current is physical, is all current. And everything's good. So, so and driving she, record history is all clear. So she got you approved though, right? Yeah. So, I mean, I I would be stumped too, for real. Like, yo, like, tell me, did, did you get like? And she's an older lady. It, was, it seemed like her own, you know, somebody you could trust, right? I and you couldn't. And she couldn't give you nut. She couldn't give you nothing at at all. Like, like a reason, like an explanation, no, no uh, like, answer, like. How how did that make you feel, bro? I mean, after going through all of that, well, oh, I was ticked because that, I, you know I wasted all this time and sending her all, you know, going through the process, sending all this different stuff that she kept asking for, and to get an email, not even a phone call, and it's like okay. Um, no explanation. It just pissed me off to where she didn't. It's like they didn't care. Wow. It, it, at least you was at home. The the other guy, the other guy was denied why he was actually up there in orientation. I mean, he drove from Missouri all the way up to Minnesota, New All Minnesota. Oh wow! See, I'm in Missouri as well. Yeah. So he he drove from. He drove from all the way up there and and got denied why he was actually in orientation and and they couldn't give him a, a, a plausible explanation either. Like, you know, was there something wrong with the with with the DAC report? Was there something wrong with my background check? Uh, is there something wrong with me? Like, you know, but um mm-hmm. But wow, man! So, so that to me it sounds like just a plain old shady company. I I mean, like I like I said, you know, I I I tell everybody in the video, and I told everybody, you know, and then when the conversation me and him had yesterday, uh, my experience is only my experience. You have to get your own experience up there. My experience was the company, you know, before everything went to shit was good you know i was with matt matt hooked me up matt made sure my money was right matt made sure my miles was right uh if i didn't want to go nowhere i didn't go and then when i wanted to go home i went home i i couldn't ask for i, I couldn't ask for a better fleet manager at the time you know what i'm saying the only thing the only issue i had with matt was the, he he's not a talker he he don't speak he don't you know he's the type of person like he talks fast. He, you, if you miss, oh, okay. he, he's the type of person that don't like to say things twice. 
You know what I'm saying? So when you talk to Matt, you got gotcha. you, you to pay attention and be like, okay, I got it. You got it? Got it. Good. Okay, don't call me. You know what I'm saying? But after Matt left, you know, after he left and they they put this god awful female uh uh female uh fleet manager with me, you know, it 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 went to it went to sugar to sugar to shit in in zero flat. You know what I'm saying? So I couldn't uh Yeah, and see Connie promised me this really nice uh, um craft. Uh, load. Uh, it was dedicated route right there in Illinois from yep. Springfield. Yeah, from Springfield, Missouri, to, uh, over to Illinois, mm -hmm. and all up to their home terminal and back down. Mm -hmm. Just a, and it's like okay. I'm like I live right, an hour east of Springfield. Perfect route. That would have been perfect. Would have got and, you. Would have got you home. It would have got you home daily or. Would it get you home weekly? I'm like, you know, and then all of a sudden, turn around and get nothing. And it's like, okay, this don't make sense. And, you know, I kept emailing and calling for several weeks trying to get an answer and nothing. So they just pretty much left you in a, left you in a dust, huh? Well... Moving on from that, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying. I, you know, it's it's kind of messed up how 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 they treated you there, uh, you know, to bring you on, and then all of a sudden, you know, out of nowhere, just deny you for uh, just deny you, and they don't give you no credible reason or anything like that. Uh, was you able to? Uh, find anything else uh since then mm, i've been doing this, just some little local stuff here i don't pay worth you know just a bit here and there but um schneider they've been trying to recruit me but they're no earrings no jewelry no tattoos what schneider I'm like I don't. I'm like that don't make sense. Oh, wait, Snyder. Wait, Snyder got a Snyder got a got a got a a restriction there for full full body art and and piercings and stuff like that. I, and see, the recruiters don't tell anybody that. They let you find that out in a letter at orientation because I went all the way down to West Memphis, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. Drove down there, got in a hotel room. Okay. Started reading their welcome package. Right. And it says, no visible tattoos. If you have tattoos, you have to wear a long sleeve shirt even in summertime. Um, no earrings, no necklaces. Um, I mean, all this different stuff that, you know, the recruiter should have told a person way ahead of time. Wait, what? What they trying to? What? What they trying to offer you a hazmat job or something like that? Because uh, what? 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 What type of job you 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 was going in for to be a truck driver, right? Yeah, it was a drive in and pull in. You know, driving a fifty three foot drive in, not hazmat. Okay. And not tanker. Okay, and they and they and it's like and they wanted you to be what squeaky squeaky clean. I, I don't even believe. Yeah, I don't even think I came came across any of their drivers that's that don't even that that don't have uh, tattoos. I know that's why I couldn't understand is it's like okay, you got this in the rules, all this. Paper is showing all the different things you know can and can't have, and it's like and your beard has you know I, has to be so you know. I understand the kind of I understand I understand the beard. You know what I'm saying? Because some yeah, companies, but, you know, yeah, some companies. You they know, say the jewelry and is a uh, safety hazard, and they want their drivers to look decent if they have tattoos. So you want them covered up. Okay. 
and no tank tops and and I mean just a whole list of different stuff and it's like okay that thing that should be a thing that recruiters should tell a person up front and be honest about okay so they so so the recruiter pretty much didn't tell you that they just they just pretty much sugarcoat everything and then by the time you got down to the orientation they took one look at you and they was like oh no we you 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 can't you can't come in because of the way you because of the way you look or or the tattoos or the piercings that you have yeah but i got covenant they well and their sister company at they just you know dissolved uh, srt they have been emailing and calling me every day trying to get me to sign on because of my uh, driving experience. Give me give me a hot second, uh uh Gary. Give me a hot second right quick. Contractor? What contractor? Paul? Uh, yeah. Oh, he's talking to Paul. Yeah. Paul's still over there? Uh, one of Paul's partners, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, just have, Sean, just have them to put the the dumpster back where the other one was. Okay. It's just like right before he was putting it down, he was like talking to him. Yeah. Talking. Yeah, tell him to put it back to where, where the dumpster was. You know where it was at, so tell him to put it back exactly where it was at. Okay. All right. All right. Sorry about that, Gary. Man, I had to call my son. No problem. I had to call my son very quick. Um. So now you 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 couldn't get in there because of uh, I, I'm going to say a technicality. You know what I'm saying? But I I have yet. For yeah. Snyder, I, I can understand about the beard, but I have yet to see uh, Snyder drivers without tattoos, man. You know what I'm I saying? Know. I know. That's why I couldn't understand. But down at West Memphis, they had uh, in the, their welcome pack a whole list of the stuff that, you know, of can't have. Wow. And you know, all all tattoos have to be covered twenty four seven. And how did, I was like, my my question okay, is this: How every, how the hell are they gonna find that out though? Like, how how are they gonna find out that you you didn't have your tattoos covered? Like, I mean, like you you in the exactly. you you in the truck. I you know out of respect for going into the shippers and the receivers and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm gonna you know I'll probably throw on the throw on a shirt and all like that Snyder shirt yeah. whatever whatever but then when I go back out to the truck it, that, that's all me why you know it's the same thing with Walmart like I see the Walmart drivers and I think it was another company called Rail uh no um Avery Avery they they do uh they do uniforms too and I'm over here like you you got to wear a uniform uh, why why you driving the truck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know you gotta you wear the uniform. Right? Uh, no, why you driving the truck? For real? I mean, like, bro, if I'm in the truck, I'm going to be comfortable. So wearing the uniform, exactly. The, That's the way it should be. Right, wearing a stuffy ass uniform for eleven hours a day, and I'm in the truck. That's not going to happen. Now, I when I get out of the truck and go to the shipper and receiver, then yeah, I'll probably throw it on. But if I get out of the truck, go to the truck stop or fuel up or whatever, whatever, I'm not gonna be wearing no I'm not gonna be wearing no freaking uniform. I and I See, I've had my CEO since I uh, ninety eight mm -hmm. and been been driving ever since and back even then you know, people had tattoos and right and earrings and everything. And it's like, okay, it's never changed this whole time. I don't see why anything, uh, you know, if it's kept decent, I don't see why it should be an issue. I, I, I don't see, I, I agree with you, bro. I, I do agree with you there, man. And, 
so far uh so far man so we're so in between the time of uh of uh JNR Swoogle and Snyder what's the time what's the time frame from then up until now um we'll see Snyder was earlier this year, probably about April. Okay. And March or April. And I've been in between that was just local working for a temp agency, you know, getting these jobs that, you know, were paying $13 an hour, but, you know, they lasted for several weeks at a time. So you and so you but so you're not able you 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 wasn't able to uh, you you wasn't able to find anything uh find anything to you know to get you back over the road or anything like that I I heard you mention that you had your mm-hmm. license since since 98 so you 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 got some years on your on your on your CDLs so before be, oh, yeah. before uh JNR Swoogle Wh- who you was driving for prior to JNR Swoogle? Well, I was driving for RBX uh, part time for a while mm-hmm. out of Stratford, Missouri, and and that was doing okay. But I had issues with my dispatcher because he didn't want to do like he was spo- you know supposed to. He took care of his favorite drivers and the heck with everybody else. Yeah, you, 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 you do get... Plus, they stuck me in a 2012 tr- uh, Freightliner that kept breaking down. <laughs> yeah, you, you do get... Uh, I was in the shop more than driving. Yeah, you do get those... Uh, you, you do get those type of... Uh, you do get those type of uh, uh, fleet managers that, that has some... that has some favorites. It's kind of... It's kind of messed up. It's kind of messed up that they do, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you're a new driver coming oh, in yeah. and trying to trying to get your trying to get your feet wet, but you know, you end up being with one of those fleet managers that give you the shit. You know what I'm saying? That gives his 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 cookie driver don't want a load that's going to whatever. And then and then he say, Oh, okay, well, I got somebody that do it. He'll give it to he'll give it to you, and make and make you do it because you're the new guy, you know. And that's well. I mean, I did, you know, in town where I made good money for one of the dairy companies, and they're in Springfield. And but I, you know, had supposed to have a, more, a whole bunch of empties and. I was stuck with two trailer empty trailers for the whole day, mm-hmm. and I had, you know, all these loads to do for the day. Asked for help and never got no help, nothing. And his problem is he has all the new incoming drivers mm-hmm. plus his older drivers, mm-hmm. and he chooses his older drivers over his new ones. Yeah, that's that, like like I said, that's 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 the that's the cookie, you know. That that's his cookie drivers, you know what I'm saying? You know, the, the, the drivers that he's, I mean, on one side of the fence, it's the drivers that he's uh, familiar with. Number one, it's the drivers that he knows that's going to get it done. That's the number two. On the other side of the fence, he's not familiar with you. And he's not sure whether or not you can handle uh, handle the task at hand. The, but the only problem is... And see, I was there for over a year, mm-hmm. and that's what pissed me off was I bust my ass the whole time. Yeah, to prove it. And, and he still... Made sure the job was done, but got treated like crap. He still didn't. He still didn't show you no type of respect or nothing like that. So how long? How? Yeah, I even asked for a different manager, and they wouldn't give it to me. Wow! So wow. you you decided to leave on your own, or or was there something? Oh yeah, I left on my own 
uh, free will because, mm -hmm. you know, the, I've seen other drivers getting, you know, better truck or when they, their truck was crap or, you know, they were being taken better care of. And it's like, okay, all I wanted was a better truck to where I could get my job done. I got you, man. I got you. Bro. Or get at least get my truck to actually fixed to where I actually drive and stay on road. All right. Instead of sitting in the garage all the time. So what's your what's your uh, 2020? What's what's your status now? I mean, you 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 did mention that you uh, doing some temp work, but um, have have you put your name back out there? Anybody else uh, giving you any calls, or where where are we at right now? Well, I've got uh, Covenant. They have been hounding me big time to come over there to them. Okay. Um, they email me, text message, and call. Mm -hmm. And they're wanting me to come there because of my experience and uh, become a trainer. Okay. Okay. You 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 feel that you're up to the job? You think you can uh you think you can Oh yeah. I've got yeah. I've helped uh quite a few different people uh uh, new people get their CDL and and get experience. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. Well, well, I hope everything work out for you. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, no, I you, appreciate you it. Definitely, uh, you know, you definitely, you know, still got your, you know, still got your high hopes up. You sound good. You you sound good. You know what I'm saying? Uh, don't. No, I'm not letting a, a Jr. Shugel ruin my whole. <laughs> Thing and keep me down <laughs> that's what's up man that's what's up but i'm glad that uh i'm glad that you're not letting them you know what i'm saying because as 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 i said before there's always better trucking companies out there you know this you know jnr swoogle for me was just a stepping stone to get where i'm at right now you know what i'm saying so you know same yeah you know, same thing but yeah i'm i'm not a fan of snyder i you know i yeah I'm I'm glad I didn't have them on my list. Uh, me either. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't have them on my list when I was uh when I was coming out. But um, uh, but yeah, man. Uh, so all together, you uh, all together since the '90s. So how 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 this year makes what for you being a CDL holder? Uh, I've got. Let's see. About twenty years of uh, driving. Twenty years, man. That's what's up. That is what's up. Twenty years of driving, man. Ho hopefully, uh, hopefully you. Can you know, I start. I started when it was actually one big trucking family. Everybody took care of everybody. Oh, okay. Did you? When everybody, you know, if you needed help, everybody was there to help you. Did you? Did you? And now it's like. Yeah, it's 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 none. Is nobody helps anybody. Sure don't. They, it's everybody. It's everybody for themselves in this trucking game now, man. Uh, bad. It is. Bad then. Uh, bad then. Did you did you go to school for your license, or you went through a trucking company for your license, or was you grandfathered in? Well, state of Missouri paid for my CDL. Okay. Okay. Because I worked in agriculture for over. Uh, 15 years. Okay. So I got a grant to go to uh, school that was all paid for by um, the state of Missouri. Okay. And got my CDL. Then I went, uh, unfortunately, straight to Prime. <laughs> And, oh, you neglected the. You, wait a, a minute now. You neglected to say that, man. What was your experience with Prime, bro? <laughs> you neglected to say you left out the good. You you left out the good stuff. What you hold on? Let me bring this back, man. Hold on. You well, Prime, got, good Prime stuff, has their man. What's up? What? Prime has their good and bad. I'll give give them that. Well, I was uh, one of the lucky ones. I had one of the best. Uh, trainers there was okay. I could ever think of. Okay, okay. He was older guy, but he lived down in Florida, right by where the space shuttle takes off. Now you know what? Hold on, right quick. And hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold that thought. I want. I want to quick. I want to quick say this right quick. And you said you had one of the best trainers uh, uh, when you went there. 
do you do you think that the trainers was a lot better back then than the trainers that they got there now? Oh yes. Okay. Okay. See, that's 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 because that's what I want. That's what I wanted to hear. So go go ahead and continue, bro. Because uh, back then they actually had older trainer, older guys that you know knew how to train people mm -hmm. the right way, mm -hmm. and you know give them the, the you know experience and show them help show them how to do stuff instead of just throwing them in a truck and saying there you go. Okay. Like I do today. Okay. Okay. So Cause my trainer, he showed me, you know, how to do some of them tight squeezes, uh, backing into docks and, and really helped me with all, a whole lot of different experience. So what, so after the, after the training and everything, how, how long you was, uh, with prime before you decided to leave? I was there a year before I left after training. Now, was you – now, this is like 20 years ago, so this is like way before YouTube and this social media shit, you know, pretty much uh, pretty much bland back then. But since, uh, since social media wasn't a big deal back then, uh, you drove for the company for, for a year – what was the culture like back then before social media came into play for Prime? Um, it was, you know, Prime had their, a really good family feeling to it. And, you know, they took good care of the drivers. Mm -hmm. And we had good equipment. Uh, but it was... You know, Christmas time they threw a heck of a, and they still do throw a hell of a Christmas party. Okay. A New Year's party for the drivers. Okay. But they made sure that if you needed something, you know, safety or payroll, anybody, you could just walk up to them the front and ask, uh, you know, questions or advice, and. You know, everybody was available at any time. And, but it seems like friends of mine that drive there now, they said, you don't, it's just go, go, go. You know, there's no, they don't have time for you, it seems like. Okay. Yeah, it's like. Uh, it's they still treat, you know, back then they still, they treated uh, some of their women drivers not so good like they do today. Oh wait! You say back then the the lady drivers was kind of like getting treated like shit, huh? Yeah. Okay, because today today uh, the female prime drivers are treated like like diamond gems on the road now. You know they throw they throw parties for them, they throw accolades to them. So, but back then they they didn't treat them all like that, huh? Yeah, they didn't treat them very good at all. And the only reason they're treating them so peachy now is because they've got several lawsuits against them mm. uh, from female drivers. I can imagine. I can imagine. That's <laughs> because one was just uh, thought her trainer was a good, you know, going to be a good guy. And he turned out to be a very, very bad dude. Turned out to be a dude. That, um, she was basically held hostage in the truck and wow. sexually assaulted for me uh, for quite a while. Wow! And that that's a big lawsuit going on right now. Well, it's a lot of it's it's a lot of issues, not just with Prime, with uh, with trainers, with male trainers, you know, assaulting their female trainees, uh, trying to get in their pants and all like that. I mean, I always say that. Look, man. If they dare, if they dare to learn how to drive the truck, they dare to learn how to drive. They ain't dare to come to, you know, come to uh, what, what, what to build a relationship with anything like that. I mean, teach them exactly. Teach, teach uh... them first, and if something should something should pop off afterwards, then yeah, pursue it afterwards. But 
keep it 100. Keep it professional. Keep it, keep it above board. You know what I'm saying? Keep it above board. Yeah, because uh, when I got my CDL, there was only me and another guy in that class. The rest of them, the other uh, 20 people were all prime drivers. Mm -hmm. And there was uh, 10 women in my class. And they were all going to the primes at the same time. And half of them didn't even stay because they didn't. They weren't treated very good. Mm. Man, that's that's that is that is so crazy to hear, but it's not it's not shocking to me. I mean, you know, like I said, I I spoke to many prime drivers, you know, male and females. Some of them, you know, some of them like it there's, you know, they had a good experience there. Others didn't, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, but I, I, you, you well, left, I left because of, you, you left because of what? what? My dispatcher was stealing money out from underneath my paycheck. How is that? How was that possible? Not giving you all the money or, or what? What's the deal here? Oh, he, he would put me and my trainer on, you know, his high dollar value loads mm -hmm. and then trainer would get you know a good bonus but he would take my bonus and i'd never see it oh, okay. and when i after i got in my own truck he was still uh take, smuggling money out from underneath me and not letting me i didn't know it until i started looking at the paycheck and come find out a whole bunch of other drivers he was doing the same thing too and finally they caught him and he got fired and had a big lawsuit against him. Mm. Okay, okay. That's what's up, man. Well, that's crazy. So you uh let me ask you this before I get up out of here. Did did was you you was company or you was going lease with uh with Prime before you left? Oh, I was company. I wasn't stupid. I <laughs> I seen how their lease drivers uh we're getting screwed. <laughs> well, that's what's up, man. That that is what's up, man. Well, Gary Kelly, man, thanks for coming on and uh sharing your experience with me today and doing the follow up and everything. Oh, thank you. Um over twenty years of driving right now, man, since the nineties. You you got any uh you got any uh advice for any of these new jacks that's coming out here, man? Mostly just, you know, if you got questions, ask, you know, find some of the older drivers and and sit down and ask them, you know, don't be afraid to, to you know, stop and ask questions or if you need help, ask for it. That's what's up. That's what's up. Because that's when I, and when I started, I had questions and I, and I found the older drivers and they were willing to actually show me and help me. That's what's up. That's what's up. And that's one to grow on. Yeah, that's everybody. what I still do today. You know, if new drivers ask me questions, I actually go out to the truck and help them. That is one to grow on, everybody. All right. Well, Gary Kelly, thank you very much, man. Again, uh, thank you for coming on, sharing your experience. And if you guys want to come on and chop it up with me with your experience, you can do that. Hit me up in the Gmail, LockoutMenPodcast at gmail.com. Or hit me up over in Instagram, over at Locked Out Men. Or you can just go the old-fashioned way and you can text me, 216-600-2090. I will get you on, we'll chop it up, and we'll get it out. Special guest today was Gary Kelly. Thank you very much. Uh, if you guys like us... You're welcome, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. You guys like stuff like this content like this don't forget to like subscribe comment share and hit that bell and that all button for more that is what's up that's what y'all do if y'all like the channel support the channel yo hook me up with some coffee the link is in the description cash out lock out me that's that's all y'all gotta do you know somebody gonna i'm gonna have somebody to play me out 
And while they doing that, I'm going to wish everybody a, a, a blessed day. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I appreciate it. And on that note, you guys take it easy, and I'll come back with you guys with another video. Peace.